hello guys uh, in this video tutorial i would like to explain the concept of probability uh, however before uh, explaining the concept of probability i would like to explain the following concepts uh, as these these concepts uh, are uh, a mandatory uh, for the concept of probability because you will see that how we can use these terms like experiment outcome and event so uh, let us explain these terms one by one with some suitable example and then i will come to the probability so the first uh, term as experiment and statistic we can define uh, experiment as uh, i would like to explain to start from the experiment experiment a well defined procedure a well defined procedure a well defined procedures which is repeated under identical condition identical condition identical condition and provide different result different result results as called random experiment oh this is not experiment this is random experiment so this is the definition of a random experiment this is a random experiment because in statistic normally we use no random experiment normally you will see that if people using the term experiment but in statistic this is random ex random experiment so a well defined procedures which repeated under and under the identical conditions under the identical conditions and provide different result is called random experiment uh so you can say that you can think that why identical condition identical condition because if you are tossing a coin you know on the grass that will give you different results and if you toss a coin on the floor that will give you different results and if you toss a coin in the sand and the sand and the deserts that will give you different results so this is that's why this is necessary there the random experiment is a well defined procedures which which repeated under identical condition and provide different results so sometime had some time sometime tail maybe two time had and two time tail and so on so the identical condition is important in that way so you can say you can say that example can be example suppose you are cos you are tossing a coin two times so the possible outcomes are on the first coin maybe you get a head and there's possibility at that on the second coin you also get a head but there is possibility that on the first coin you got head but there's possibility that on the second coin you got tail then there's possibility that on the first coin you got tail and the second coin you got head and there is possibility that on both coins you got tail on each coin so this is an experiment and uh, uh, these are you know the outcome of this uh, this experiment which is of course different and the other example can be a rolling a die once or twice so you can get different values i will explain this after the event and uh, after the outcome and the event so now let's come to the outcome 
outcome. So the result of the random experiment, the result, the result of x of an experiment is called is called outcome. In this experiment, you can see that this is an outcome, this is an outcome, but I mean that H, H is an outcome, H, T is an outcome, T, H is an outcome, and T, T, matlab, tel, tel is an outcome. So this is, of course, the outcome. These are the results. So this is the, these are the outcomes of this experiment, random experiments. Now, event, because event is normally used in the probability, so I would like to explain event. Even a single outcome or the combination of more outcome, a combination of more than one outcome. one outcome outcome of an experiment is called an event an event okay so a single outcome or the combination of more than one outcome of an experiment is called an event. For example, so this in this experiment, uh, in this experiment which uh, I, I provided an example, uh, the event may be suppose the events uh, example from the above experiment example from the above experiment a one. This is suppose an event. So this may be H h or a2 this is another event this may be h h and t t or this can be a33 this can be t h h t So, an event, uh, an event uh, as, is a single outcome or combination of more outcome of an experiment is the event. So you can may, you can see that a one is a single outcome, a two is the combination of two outcome, and a three is the combination of two outcome as well in different outcome. So this these are all are event. I would like to discuss two example which I did uh, the first one I did but. The second I would like to explain. You can see that uh, this is an experiment in which you roll two dice or we roll a die twice and the output is 1-1. One, one. This means that on the first die we got one. There is a possibility that we will get one on the first die and one on the second die. Then there is a possibility that we will get one on the first die and two on the second die. And then this is the outcome that on the first die we may get one and on the second die we may get three and so on until there's a possibility that we can get one on the first die and six on the second die or the second time you can say if you say twice and similarly with this combination on the first in this row show that on the first die we can get two and the second die we can get different values from one to six and similarly you can explain the other rows so you can got 36 outcomes for this experiment so this is an experiment which has 36 outcomes and you can see that these are the outcomes this one 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 two and until six six this is the outcome and then you can make events from these outcome maybe you can make an event that 
suppose one 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 two or maybe you can say the event uh, suppose a is an event that and the first die there is four so the, this is the event that this the whole row because you say that and the first die there is four so this this three this six outcome is your event so you can de uh, define event and this is different uh, you know on the question or on the problem or on the definition which you would like to explain so uh, in this video tutorial uh, uh, we learn about event uh, experiment a random experiment event outcome and event and now let's come to the probability that what is mean by the, prob the probability probability let's suppose suppose we have a sample space sample space is the number of total outcome of an experiment so this means that suppose we have sample space and we want to calculate the probability the probability of an event a and this probability can be defined as the probability of even a is equal to favorable chances or favorable outcomes per event a favorable outcomes for event A divided by the total outcome of the experiment of an experiment you can write this simply like this uh, suppose I am writing this by N A this means that the favorable outcomes for event A and the total outcome of the experiment which is NS I will just use this notation here so this is now the probability of event A probability of event A okay so the probability of event A is the favorable out outcomes for event A divided by the total number of outcome of an experiment. Let's suppose we define an event. Let's again I will write the outcome of the experiment. For example, again I will write the experiment of head and tail. So this is the sample space in which there was this chances of head on both coins. There is a chance of head and tail. I mean head on the first and tail on the second coin and there is a possibility of tail on the first and head on the second coin and there is a possibility of tail on each coin now I am just defining the event that let's suppose uh, or you can say that find the probability find the probability find the probability that we will get at least one head at least one head in this experiment 
Okay, so now you can say this uh, the experiment is S equal to H H H T T H and D T. So four possible outcomes. Uh, I mean the total uh, outcome of this experiment. Find the probability that we will get at least one head. So at least one head as your event. We will say that uh, we need to move to the solution of this problem. Let a denote and denote that we will get at least one head in this experiment so this means that a is equal to you can write the outcome this is an event and we define that even maybe one outcome or maybe the combination of more than one outcome so we can write that uh, we know that at least one head mean that uh, we can have two head we can have one head and one tail and we can have again the different combination that is tail and head so this is now the event which we define now the probability of i will write like this probability of if you want a as the favorable outcomes divided by the total outcome so we denote the favorable outcome by n a and the total outcome by n s now you know that in this experiment the favorable outcomes are one two three so three and the total outcome of this experiment you can just scroll it and you can see that uh, in this experiment we have four possible outcome one two three four h h1 h t2 t h3 and t t4 so you can get uh, the probability by using this definition that is four so this implies that probability of this event which we mean that at least one head is three divided by four similarly if you define the event that uh, uh, if you are asked that find the probability that uh, of two tails find the probability the probability of two tails in this experiment then again you can define that this was in the first example we define uh, a is the event now you can say that suppose B denote B represent B represents the event that there will be there will be two tails. This means that b equal to you can write this now this can be tail and tail this means that on both dice on both uh, coins you will have tails so what is the probability that we will get two tails or what is the probability that we will have tail on both coins so now you can solve this probability of b i mean the two tails is equal to number of favorable outcomes for event b divided by total outcomes for of the experiment you can see that we already know that the total number of outcome is four which is we already know and the favorable outcome for event b is only one that is tail and tail so the probability that we will get two tails in this experiment as 1 divided by 4 so this is the answer uh, I will solve another uh, more example later I think this is enough for today so you can read this and you can write in the comments if you 
something is not clear so thank you very much for watching and